Good morning, folks. Dave here, AF5DN, and I want to show you a radio that I picked up. I often uh, volunteer for public events through the local races, Aries, whichever one you're talking about, <clears throat> and uh, I typically use this little Oshan radio, or Waxon, however you choose to pronounce it. This was the very first dual band handheld that I ever purchased many, many years ago, and it still worked just fine. But this was uh, walked in Alzheimer's, uh, and it was raining. Okay, it was raining for two and a half hours straight. <laughs> now, I was able to put this little radio in my pocket and wrap the antenna over my shoulder and wear my raincoat, and everything turned out hunky-dory, you know, sunshines and lollipops. But as I was sitting there getting drenched, I thought there's I probably need a water resistant radio for these type situations. So I did a little digging around and I found this Baofang. Uh, this is a UV R9 Pro affiliate link below. I got this on Amazon for $29. That's a heck of a deal. I think I paid $150 for that Oshang many, many years ago. $29 is, is, is an amazing price for a radio. This one happens to be, uh, I think it is IP67 rated. Do you trust Bofang in, their, in the ratings? I don't know. I'm going to give it a shot. For $29, it can't hardly beat it. Now, this is a bigger radio than the standard UV5R. Here's a UV5R. Let's see if I can get them together here. So you can see it's a, it, it is a bigger radio. Uh, it is much fatter. So it, it, actually, it actually feels pretty substantial in your hands. Sometimes this can feel a little, you know, chinglishy. Uh, <laughs> this one, not so much. Uh, now, the only thing I really don't like about it is the, the belt clip thingy. It spins around like that, and if you were to clip it on something, it would hang off the bottom like that. That's For me, that's a little weird. I'm just used to the normal way that handheld radios, you know, the well, even my Kenwood uh, does that. So, for the most part, the menu options are exactly the same as a regular Bofang if you're used to that. The only issue that I had that I didn't like was when you turn it on, channel mode. it comes up in channel mode. That's not a problem. If you want to switch out of channel mode, you have to hold down that. Frequency mode. So you can't, you can't just jump back and forth between channel mode and frequency channel mode. You have mode. to... You have to hold that little button down while you turn it on. Uh, other than that, it seems like a pretty good radio. Uh, the connector on the side is different. It does have a little uh, a little door, you know, that hooks are on right there. But it won't use the standard uh, Kenwood K-style programming cable. This is the one I usually use with most of my uh, uh, programming. It uses a cable that looks like this, right? USB, and there's got a few little pins on it and a screw. Uh, now, the only problem I had with this cable, now this door that covers it, that screw is captive, so it won't. You can't lose it. Uh, in fact, I already lost the screw. Look at that; it's empty. <laughs> uh, that's my beef. The screw is not captive into the connector, so it falls out. I actually had a little trouble getting it in there the first time to program it. So that's a difference. <clears throat> now, once you get the cable squared away uh, on the radio, it programs uh, with chirp just fine. I just downloaded uh, my Waxon, Oshan, the program, 
and cloned it over <coughs> to the Bofang waterproof and it came up just fine and it, it operates on all of the uh, frequencies just fine. So if you're looking for a water resistant radio, maybe you do public events and you're afraid of being outside, you know, dusty, windy, rainy, snowy. Not much of that in Texas. We get ice, we don't get snow. <clears throat> this might be an option for you. Again, this is a UV9 Pro on Amazon, $29. All right, so there you go. Have fun. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment. I do read every comment. <clears throat> I don't always respond, but I do read them. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.